Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little Amazon wig haul. So I have a bunch of wigs I got off Amazon. So I have a few here. So I have some natural hair colors as well as some fun hair colors to show you. So I'm going to go through each one and give you a little rundown on each wig. And then I'll also show you the Amazon listing and kind of give you some insight onto the things I look for when I'm shopping for wigs on Amazon because there's a lot of scammers out there and there's a lot of like not everything is what it seems in the wig world especially on amazon so i want to give you some key pointers to look out for so that you guys can get yourself a nice wig on amazon so yeah let's go ahead and get started oh but before we do i just want to say oh my god we hit 10k on my channel <laughs> i'm so excited so this video is a giveaway so all the wigs i'm going to show you today i'm giving away so just Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out more about the giveaway. So yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I wanted to start things off with my favorite wig from the haul. Like, look at this. Isn't she so pretty? I love this wig so much. Like, I love the color, like the red hair going into the blonde ends. So pretty. And I love the little waves and everything about this wig I think is so, so pretty. So I got this wig because it has bangs. So when you're getting synthetic wigs, if you get bangs, it just makes it so much easier to style. Like I literally just put this on and it looks amazing. You don't have to like cut off any lace. You don't have to work with like a hairline or anything like that. So yeah, get a wig with bangs. If you know bangs look good on you, get a wig, a wig with bangs because it's just gonna make it so, so much easier. So that's like my first tip for you. So I'm gonna show you guys the listing and we can go through everything. All right, so this is the listing and right off the bat you can see on the picture that it looks beautiful I'm not sure I mean it doesn't look exactly the same as in the picture but it does look pretty close so this is probably like this might be another wig that they're kind of like modeling it off of but I still feel like it looks pretty similar so now that you know what this one looks like it does come with other colors so there's like a blonde version you know pink, purple, she has like a bunch of colors in here. So I think this wig is really, really pretty. There's like a darker red and the price is good as well. Around the $30 mark, I think that's a really good price. So yeah, that's the wig number one and tip number one, go for bangs. All right, so next up we have this little lady and I just pulled her off to the side to get like a side part instead of wearing it as a middle part because I feel like it looks a little bit better. So that's why it looks like a little uneven because I like Put it to the side but if you are going to wear it as like a side part you can just cut this off and even it out but yeah isn't this so pretty i love the body and the waves on this one mm, mm, mm. i think this one's so so pretty as well and i think this one would be really perfect for like an everyday wig so if you're actually looking for a wig to wear to work or you know on a regular basis this one is super comfortable it fits really really nicely on my head doesn't feel itchy the hair feels really nice because it's like off your shoulders so I feel like this wouldn't really bother you throughout the day if you wanted to wear it for like a longer period of time and I really like the um, the quality of the fibers the hairs I feel like they don't really tangle they feel really soft and I mean it does kind of look like real hair I mean I'm looking at myself in the mirror and it does pretty much look like real human hair in my opinion so I really like this one for like a natural aspect and I really like the hairline as well so they do have like a little bit of a pre-plucked hairline going on you can of course like get in there with some tweezers if you wanted to like break it up a little bit more but I feel like right out of the box or like out of the bag this looks pretty good I like her I like her all right so let's pull up the listing and critique all right, so if we look at the listing, right off the bat, you can see a picture of Ellie. So obviously she's not wearing the same wig. This wig is inspired by her hairstyle. So yeah, just be aware of stolen photos. It goes on, it happens a lot in the wig industry. People steal everyone's photos. So if it's a photo of a celebrity or an influencer, chances are that's not the picture of the wig that you're buying. That's just like an inspiration photo. So, but what I do like about this listing though, is that they do have photos of the wig itself. So you do see what you're actually gonna be getting, which that's what we're looking for. 
And you can see by the wig that I'm wearing and the wig in the photo, it's pretty much the same wig. So I do like that. And the price is right, so the price is $50. I would say anywhere from $30 to $60 is a really good price range on Amazon. So yeah, this fits right in that sweet spot. So $50 is good. And it does have good ratings. Okay, so the reviews. Mm -hmm. This is another thing, and this happens in some of the other wigs I'm gonna show you. So what they do is they'll reuse a previous listing that was successful. So clearly this listing was for this blonde wig, which is not in the picture. I actually was trying to get this blonde wig because everyone gave it such really nice reviews. So I really wanted to get this blonde wig in all these photos, but yeah, I couldn't find the listing. But clearly this blonde wig was really successful. Everyone gave it like really good reviews. So they just replaced it with the brunette version so yeah sometimes the reviews don't always reflect the wig that you're buying so that's like another thing to look out for look through the reviews and see you know if there's any pictures that match up but I'm still really happy with how this one came out I do wish I could have tried the blonde version if I do end up finding it I'm gonna probably get that one as well all right next up we have this wig right here so for my personal taste it is a little bit too dark for me and a little bit too cool toned but I think on the right person and the right coloring this would look really really nice so what I like about this wig is I like the style like it had the it comes with these waves and I really like the coloring on it as well even though like I said it's a little bit too dark for my skin tone but I really like the blend of this ombre to like this ashy silver color I think it's really really pretty and I love the waves, like I said. So all the waves I'm showing you today are heat resistant. So you can use a flat iron or a curling iron on them, just like on the really lowest setting. So you can take a curling iron to this and like give it a few more curls at the front. But yeah, I actually think this really looks like hair, does it not? It doesn't really have that shine. The first one did have a little bit of shine, but you can just, um, put some dry shampoo on it just to kind of powder it up and dull out the shine. The second one looked like hair and I feel like this one looks like hair as well. This one it does, I feel like it has that potential to tangle up. Usually with longer synthetic wigs they do tend to tangle up a little bit but overall it is pretty soft. Really interesting. Okay and this one, okay so this one does not have a lace front. So I just wanted to show you what that looks like. So it does kind of look a little wiggy right there because it does end. But what I really like is that it has like this skin-like material. So it's not really a silk top, but it does have this skin-like material in the parting. So it does create like a really nice fake scalp. So for this part, honestly, I feel like it's not really that bad. You can kind of get away with it. You can also try to do that thing where you push it back and you use your own hairline. So take out some of your own hair and then create a part right there. So like the part matches up and you could kind of do that. That wouldn't really look good on me. So I would personally, I would just wear it down and just, just rock it like that. And I'll show you the listing so we can kind of critique it. All right, so looking at this listing, the first thing that we see is a photo of this lovely girl. Obviously, I don't think she's wearing the same wig that I am. This is probably another stolen photo, and the wig is just kind of inspired by her hair color. So don't always trust the, the model in the photo. Pretty much nine times out of 10, they're not wearing the wig. What you really wanna look for is a picture of the actual wig itself on a mannequin or like a, a styrofoam head of some sort, something like that to show that it is an actual wig. So the wig in the photos, you can see it's a very similar color. It does go down to that ashy gray, those ashy gray ends, but the root color is a little bit different. In the photos, it does look like more of a darker, warmer brown, and the wig that I have on right now is pretty much a very dark black color. So the colors don't exactly match up, but if you look at their listing, they do offer some other colors. So I would be really curious to see what this one looks like. It is more of that warmer darker brown color to that beige blonde so i would actually be really interested to see what that one looked like in real life and then they do also have another brunette color and they have this blonde wig with the bangs 
so they do have some other options so if you do like the style of this wig but you don't exactly like the color I would definitely take a look at their other wigs because for their price $26.99 it's not really too bad I personally wouldn't wear this as like an everyday wig but maybe like every once in a while or some for some photos if you just kind of want to change up your look or for an event I feel like this could really work maybe just put some more curls into it but yeah not bad not bad let's move on to the next wig okay so moving on to the fun colors we have this little purple moment here and I actually really really like the quality of this wig the hairs are really soft and I don't feel like you would have a lot of problems with tangling on this one they like as far as uh, you know synthetic wigs go I feel like this is pretty high quality and it's very silky it does it did come with a few bends so when I took it out of the package it was a little bouncy and bendy and I took a flat iron to it I could still probably go through it again but it did take to my flat iron pretty well again on like the lowest setting but yeah it did straighten it pretty well so this is what this looks like so it does come with a lace front so the only thing I would do with this is maybe pluck the hairline just a little bit just to kind of break up that sharp line so when it comes to plucking synthetic wigs you can tweeze them I would just be very careful because sometimes when you're tweezing them the hairs break off instead of like coming out with the knot so just take your time and be very careful with that so you get like the actual knot out so you don't have like little dots on your hairline but yeah that's like pretty much the only thing I would do and then maybe put some concealer in the part here and then again just like flat iron it a little bit more or you could curl this you can go both ways but yeah that's what I would do to make it look a little bit more natural one thing to note is that it does come with a light brown lace so just keep that in mind if you do want it to match your skin color I feel like I could probably still get away with it if I just you know once I cut off the lace and maybe add some powder on the inside to lighten it up but yeah it does not come with transparent lace it comes with brown lace so just keep that in mind so let's go ahead and move on to the listing and see what it looks like this one's gonna be interesting all right so this is where things get funny okay so you're looking at the listing and right off the bat you're like that that's not the same wig I know I know this is how people get scammed okay so I know because I like look at wigs every day and I know that this is a Freedom Couture wig. She usually has the black business cards and it usually says her logo, but a lot of companies will steal her photos and block out the logo. Not even just her photos, but photos from other wig companies and they'll just like block out their branding. And this is how people get scammed because they, they're, you know, they're seeing a photo of a really nice wig and they think that's what they're going to get. Ah, you got to be careful. So what I would do in this case and what I did do is I looked at the reviews so definitely always look at the reviews and look at the reviews with pictures what sold me on it was the photos from this girl here I feel like she styled it really well she really pulled it off so I think it looks really cute on her and there is a lot of potential with this wig so definitely always look at the reviews and the photos that people actually post because things are not always what they seem and another photo that I really liked was this girl's photo as well I don't think she's wearing the same wig it looks like the wig that she has on is a little bit longer than this one obviously and maybe a different color I don't know if she has a filter on her her photo but it looks really nice on her and I think this wig does have a lot of potential it's a shame that they don't just use the photos of the actual wig itself because if you're looking at a photo of a Freedom Couture wig or like a real human hair wig and then you get this, you're going to be disappointed. But if you just saw a photo of this and you got this, this is actually a really nice wig on its own. Like this is a really nice synthetic wig One, if you just know what you're getting, you know what I mean? So. Alright, so last up we have this icy blue moment. So she is very long. That's pretty much down to my waist. The thing with the longer synthetic wigs is that they do tend to tangle up at the end. So just be wary of that. This one does have the tendency to get kind of tangly. But I do really like this color. 
and it is heat resistant so I do have my flat iron set to a very low temperature and I can kind of show you because it does have a little bit of some bumps like from the packaging so I'm just gonna run my flat iron through it so yeah all right so I'm really liking the color on this and I love how it sits really flat to the head at the top here really like how that looks and I actually like the hairline on this I wouldn't even really pluck this one I feel like it looks pretty good like I feel like once you cut the lace it would look really nice and then maybe just some concealer on the part there and then maybe some dry shampoo on the hair just to take out a little bit of the shine and then after that girl, I think this would be really cute in photos for events but yeah I wouldn't wear this one too much because it does tend to tangle but if you just want to have a blue moment for once I think this wig is super cute so let's go ahead and look at the listing so again we have a photo of this girl who may or may not be wearing this wig it does look like she's wearing a wig I don't think it's this one but it does look very nice but what I like about this listing is it does have photos of the actual wig so you can see here if you want to do some braids that's what the wig looks like so I do like that you know what you're getting the price is good around the $50 mark and then let's check out the reviews and I really like the reviews here too so people gave it some nice reviews looks really pretty on this girl here and this girl here as well looks like she's a rock in the blue I would personally get a wig like this just to do photos like Instagram photos or like for a special little occasion but yeah I wouldn't wear this one for too long because it does tend to tangle up all right so I wanted to wrap up the video in my favorite wig from the haul I really like this one so much I think I'm gonna recreate this on a human hair wig maybe I really like the color on this one and even though this one is a longer synthetic wig this one doesn't really have the tendency to tangle as much as that blue one so this one the hairs are really soft and I can run my fingers through them over and over and I feel like this one won't tangle as much so it really depends on the wig that you're getting and the quality of the hairs I feel like this one is really really nice so a few things to keep in mind if you are shopping for a wig on Amazon if you want it to look realistic try going for bangs or going for a lace front so search lace front in your keywords because not all of them will come with a lace front I feel like from this haul this one was the most realistic it's not it doesn't have that crazy shine to it I mean this one does kind of look a little has that like wiggy shine to it but this one look at that I feel like this one really looks like hair and the hairline on this one is really nice So yeah, if you want something like this, make sure it does have a lace front because otherwise, if you're not going to get a lace front, your wig is probably going to come looking similar to this. So these ones, although you can still finesse it and you know, you can work it, it's not going to be as realistic as a lace front. So I do like the scalp on this one though. This one does have a really nice scalp. I wish it had a lace front, but, but yeah. But yeah, with these ones, you can always wear it a little higher up, maybe pull out some of your hair. Or I'm not a fan of hats with wigs, but you can always wear a hat with your wig if you're like self-conscious about what it looks like. But yeah, go for a lace front and then always look at the photos. So again, the model in the photos is probably not going to be wearing the wig that you're looking for. So definitely look at the photos and try to find one with the wig on the mannequin. But again... <laughs> But again, it might not always be the wig on the mannequin if you remember that purple wig and like how they steal photos from other wig companies. So if you're in doubt, look at the reviews because you really want to look at reviews with photos and see that's going to give you the most accurate re representation of what the wig actually looks like. So definitely always look at the reviews. And if you've made it this far, let's talk about the giveaway. Ah! <laughs> so all the wigs I showed you today, I am going to be giving away. So I'm going to just do it the same way that we did it last time with my other Amazon wig giveaway. What you're going to do is subscribe to my channel because this is for my subscribers and follow me on Instagram and then comment below your Instagram handle so I can message you on Instagram like once you if you win and let me know what are your favorite or what was your favorite wig from this haul. Maybe your top 
are your top three. So then I can kind of give you one of your favorite wigs. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to give a wig to someone if it's not gonna, you're, you're not gonna like it, you know? So yeah, let me know your favorite wigs and then I'll message you on Instagram. I'll leave all the details in the description box so you guys can check that out. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Ah. So yeah, I hope you like this haul. Let me know if you guys want to see wigs from anywhere else. I was thinking of maybe doing like a Wish, a wig haul from Wish, you know, that app. I haven't actually bought anything from there, but I've seen other people do wig hauls from Wish. So maybe I'll try that next. Let me know. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.